Ever heard the one about the salad who went to a psychiatrist? He just felt like he wasn't enough, romaining himself. Now hold on to your lettuce leaves, folks, because this isn't just a simple salad joke. This leafy green scenario serves as a fresh and crisp introduction to our main course today, the fascinating link between diet and mental health. You see, our dear salad friend was feeling a bit wilted, a bit less than his usual vibrant self. And that's something many of us can relate to, right? We often think of food as a way to fuel our bodies, to keep us going, to help us grow strong and healthy. But what if I told you that a balanced diet isn't just important for your physical health? Oh yes, you heard it right. The foods we eat can also have a profound impact on our mood, our focus, our sleep, and our overall mental well-being. Turns out, our salad friend needed more than just a little dressing up. He needed a balanced diet. Remember when you were a kid and you thought ice cream was the solution to all life's problems? Yeah, me too. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Picture this. It was a day that could make a cactus cry out for water. The kind of day when you're certain that the universe is conspiring against you. Nothing, and I mean nothing, seemed to be going right. I did what any self-respecting adult would do. I decided to seek comfort in the chilly embrace of a heaping bowl of ice cream. Now I don't mean a polite scoop or two. Oh no, we're talking about a full-on, no-holds-barred, spoon-to-tub binge. It was a moment of pure, frosty bliss, a sugar-laden sanctuary from the woes of the world. But alas, the sweet relief was short-lived. You see, while ice cream may promise a temporary escape from reality, it exacts a heavy toll. Ah, the infamous sugar crash. One minute I was floating on a creamy cloud of comfort food, the next I was plummeting down to earth, feeling sluggish and even more out of sorts than before. The culprit? The roller coaster ride of blood sugar levels that comes with indulging in such sweet treats. As your blood sugar spikes, your body responds by releasing insulin, leading to a rapid drop in blood sugar levels. This sudden fall can leave you feeling tired, irritable, and even more stressed out than before. So what's the takeaway here? Well, it's not that you should swear off ice cream forever, far from it. Rather, it's about understanding the impact of what we eat on our mood and mental health. When we use food as an emotional band-aid, it can provide temporary relief, but it doesn't address the root of our stress or sadness. Moreover, the foods we often reach for in these moments, like our trusty tub of ice cream, can sometimes exacerbate our emotional turmoil rather than alleviate it. So, the next time you're feeling down and reach for that tub of ice cream, remember the great ice cream meltdown of 2023. So, Popeye had it right all along. Who knew? We often overlook the power of a balanced diet, especially its impact on our mental health. Fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains aren't just the building blocks for a healthy body, but also a happy mind. Now let's take a trip down memory lane to a time when inspired by our beloved sailor man, I decided to eat spinach by the bowlful, hoping to gain superpowers. Sure, there were no bulging muscles or superhuman strength, but what I did gain was a sense of well-being. It was like my brain was having a party and everyone was invited. Well, almost everyone. You see, nutrients are like VIP tickets to this party. They fuel our brain, keeping it active and sharp. And guess what? Spinach is packed with these nutrients. Spoiler, I didn't get super strength, but I did notice a boost in my mood and energy levels. Spinach, one, ice cream, zero. Now I know what you're thinking. Does this mean I need to bid adieu to my beloved junk food? Hold your horses, not so fast. It's not about completely eliminating those sugar-dusted donuts or crispy fries from your life. It's about moderation and balance. Think of it like a seesaw. Too much weight on one side and things go topsy-turvy. So yes, occasional treats are okay, but it's essential to keep the main focus on nourishing foods. Think vibrant fruits, crunchy vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. They're not only a treat for your taste buds, but also a big thumbs up for your mental health. And when you do indulge, savor every bite. Remember, guilt has no place at the dining table. So let's make a pact. Let's aim for nourishing our bodies and minds with wholesome foods and a generous sprinkle of love. And remember folks, the key to a happy mind might just be a happy plate. Or as my grandmother used to say, eat your veggies or you'll end up as crazy as a soup sandwich.